My name is Rona Chaudhary and I'm a physician. I'm an endocrinologist here in Graves Gilbert Clinic. I'm with Graves Gilbert Clinic for more than five years. 80 to 85 percent of our patients are type 2 diabetes and uh, around 10 to 20 percent of them are type 1 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes, which is the most commonest one, it usually happens later on in the life and you might be a little bit prone from genetics, but a lot of time it could be because of poor diet, lack of exercise. Whenever your pancreatic cells are not functioning properly, over the time, uh, because of overload, they slow down. Eventually, you will need insulin shots in the, in the long term. Whereas type 1 diabetes is more known as juvenile diabetes. Although we have seen people as old as 85, 86 year old diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, but if you found, uh, if you diagnose with type 1 diabetes, that is more like a genetic and uh, it's an autoimmune condition. It means your own immune system destroys your own pancreas and you have to be on insulin shock if you have diagnosed with type 1. The pills will not work for type 1. So that is the main difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. If you have type 2 diabetes mellitus, those symptoms will be slow in the onset. It's mainly you will see blurry vision, uh, you will have increased urination, you will have increased thirst. It will keep going for years and years and it will gradually progress. Versus if you have type 1 diabetes, you will have all those symptoms, but they will happen all of a sudden. And you will get sick all of a sudden. And uh, your blood sugar can go, within a few months, it can go to 500 or 600 if you have type 1. So in short, type 1 diabetes is more uh, acute onset. It happens more immediately versus type 2 diabetes is a chronic, uh, it happens uh, slowly. It takes uh, around four or five years before even people know they have diabetes type 2. The treatment of diabetes solely doesn't depend on drug treatment. A lot of time you can just control your diabetes by eating healthy, changing your lifestyle and by exercise. If those are not sufficient, then drugs play a role. There are a lot of medications nowadays. Uh, there are good old generic medications. There are some newer medications. Eventually, patients might need it if they are following the diet and if their sugars are still uncontrolled. We add those medications if needed. Well, uh, for type 1 diabetes, uh, it's your immune system which destroys your pancreas. So in that case, you will be on insulin shot most of the time, immediately after diagnosis. I think, I believe education is the key. So I try to educate my patients about their diabetes, about their uh, possible complications. I try to educate them about the side effects for the medications they are taking. I try to go over with the diet and exercise and try, I try to motivate them to uh, make uh, their lifestyle changes to help to improve their diabetes.